What's going on, good folks? We're back with another video. Today, we're going to go out, as you can see by the title, and do some fishing. Um, we're looking for uh, catfish. Around our area here, we got channel cat, uh, blue cat. Um, but if we get a rock or two to bite, that'll be perfect as well. So this is Chad, everybody. <laughs> What's happening? Man, What's listen, going on? you guys better get used to seeing this man right here, man. <laughs> He's he's an all star man. So I don't know about that. Y'all get used to that. seeing him, man. So all right, well, we'll see you guys when we get down to the water. All right, all right. All right we here at the spot. Call it so it won't fall off. So Chad, how far would you say this walk is, man? How far? Uh, maybe a quarter mile, half mile. It ain't far. That's far when you're fat like me. But <laughs> if you guys look. You see, we got quite a bit to tote. So, um, I'll cut the camera back on when we get down to uh, Chad's Honey Hole. That's the name, Chad's Honey Hole. So, we done made it down to the little spot. Um, Chad said this is one of his best spots to fish. And if Chad says it, it's a go. It's a go. Trust and believe. So, uh, y'all stay tuned. We're going to get you guys set up here in a little bit. Um, if you look. Let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit. But if you look, you see the tide starting to come in. So, you know, once we get it to where we need it to get, you know, we're going to cast out and uh, get y'all some good fish. You ever ate snapping turtle? No, I haven't. Would you try it? Yeah, I tried. Oh. I tried Chaz it. never had snapping turtle. Neither, neither have I. Neither have so, I. So, uh, neither has Frank. So, that could possibly be an upcoming video for you guys. If you guys want to see Snapping Turtle catch clean cook, um, drop a like, drop down in the comments, and we'll have it coming for y'all. Yeah. Oh shit! Hey, grab that net. Grab it. Oh, oh. Right at the end. Of that. That's cat. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, Chad, let's go. <laughs> let's, let's go. go. Let's do the damn thing, then. Let's do the damn uh -huh. thing, then, man. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I hear you. What do you think about that, man? I love it. Oh, yeah, we ain't catching this down on the bridge. Hell no. <laughs> and that is a catfish, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes, sir. That's a good one. Where are you man. going at? In this pool over here? Hold, hold, hold. Uh oh. -uh. Did I do that? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I told you guys, Chad is the man. Chad's the man. We literally just cast it out probably about what? Five minutes ago, Chad? It's been about five, 10 minutes. Five, 10 minutes, man. I ain't even been out here that long. And he got what? Would you say that's about a five to 10 pound? And that's blue cat, right? Yeah, that's blue cat. That is a blue cat, guys. Chad is the man. Okay. What we're gonna do, we're gonna so start you, up here. Okay, so you were saying it's this is the loin. The loin, okay. okay. And then you said the fillet. You the like... fillet, I normally start back here towards this dorsal fin, or towards the anal fin, rather. Okay, now, Chad, I got a special request for you. Yes, sir. I want to know if you can cut me out some of the belly meat. Some of the belly meat? Yes. I can certainly try. All right. I can certainly try. All right. As long as I can feel where that rib cage is, I can pretty much do it. My man. All right. We're going to start up here. We're going to start with this loin. So, right up here, we're going to cut down. And this pretty much follows the back side of the skull. Mm -hmm right on around, and then down the spine. I can tell right now that's gonna be a nice fillet. Switch on here real quick. There is a bone that you have to work around right where this dorsal fin is. It's a small bone, it comes around, and what it does, it helps support that dorsal fin right there. Work our way right around, and again, back on down the spine. Let me 
see how it's coming open there. Your spine's going to be just below where I've cut, but you have uh, some other bones in here that you can feel with the knife blade. We'll slide that knife down. We've reached the dorsal fin here. That's what we're aiming for with our knife blade. We're going to keep a little pressure on it. See how the knife blade's bending there? Mm -hmm. Keep a little pressure on it and push back towards that dorsal fin, or, or the anal fin rather. Or it came out the other side. She popped right up the other side. Yep, I'm gonna work her way right on down, following that spine the whole way. Following that spine before we get to the tail, the very end, mm -hmm. we're gonna stop. So we're gonna stop right there. That's where it's gonna end at. Okay. Come back up here. And now, let's see if I can flip this around to you, make it a little easier to see. Now we're gonna work that meat away from the bone is all we're doing in here. Slowly working that meat away from the bone. Man, in that. This piece here. One thing about this catfish, man, she's slippery. They are slippery. They are slippery. I'm gonna get my hands dirty, guys. I'm gonna hold on to them for them. Now, growing up, um, you know, whenever my family would cook fish, I was taught to pretty much, now I can gut a fish, I can clean a fish. Um, I know how to remove the backbone as a lot of you guys seen in the, uh, the uh, rockfish video I did where I stuffed it. I can do all that. And I was taught to fry it that way, but I was never really taught to fillet a fish. So me personally, as I got older, I started enjoying the fillets more. So to actually be here and see it done in person and learn is just amazing. So, Chad, continue. <laughs> and I'm the exact opposite. Most of my family fillet fish. We fillet fish pretty much our whole lives. And as I get older, I appreciate the other way. Right. I appreciate having most of the fish there and being able to pick the bones, bones you know, the right. bones clean like that. And. In all honesty, I've also realized that for me, some of the, the best flavored meat in the entire fish is actually this meat right in this rib area. Okay. That's just my personal opinion. Yes, sir. But, uh, I grew up eating perch mm -hmm. and trout. My father was big on perch. My mother was big on trout. Perch is a bony fish it is so i mean if you're guy if you guys are out there eating that and i'm sure it's a lot of you know at least have a loaf of bread nearby so you get those bones done if you actually <laughs> don't swallow one but uh just doing that as a kid i learned to appreciate a fillet and, if you will so yep and the fillets are nice because like i said they are boneless uh they're nice to eat as far as that goes uh, especially with white perch in particular you can sit there and eat them like potato chips and that is that fillet separated from the body right there. Yes, sir. Now, now look at that. That looks good. That, and that, guys, that is some good meat. And it goes back to, like I said earlier, you can go out and you can get this right off of the land. This is meat you put in your freezer. You can feed your family with it. And guess what? It was free. Yep. Chad, what we spend? Gas money? Yeah, gas money. That's it. Money. That's it, guys. I dug some night crawlers up from underneath one of these logs around here. That was it. That's it. That was it. Get out. Live off the land. God put everything here for us to use and to utilize. That's right. Use it. Maybe I'll lose some of this weight. <laughs> and that's that's the goal, man. You know, um, we're we're about to start living off the land. I'm gonna start, you know, doing a lot more of these catch clean cooks for you guys. Um, and uh, we're gonna see how much weight I can lose because it's actually lean and healthy and protein, you know. It's so extremely healthy. Extremely 100 healthy. One hundred percent all natural, no GMOs, none of that stuff you hear about today. And I'm gonna just lift this up for you guys. And oh my God, this is heavy. <laughs> Look at that fillet, Chad, Chad. You did an amazing job, man. And uh, this, this. Oh man, I can't wait, guys. I'm going to see you guys in the kitchen, all right? We'll see you guys in the kitchen. We're going to fry some of this up, all right?
Hey, what's going on guys? We are back in the kitchen. All right, as promised, we're going to go ahead and do that catfish up that we caught today. Now, we actually caught three. I only filmed us catching one, but I'll put pictures in of the other ones that we caught as well. Um, so you see here, we have a beautiful filet. Uh, Chad, I want to thank you, man, you know, uh, for cleaning this thing up for us and uh, getting it looking good for us. And um, just thank you for the day in general, man. Uh, but when it comes to catfish, I'm the type of person I only like my catfish done one way, and that's fried. Uh, catfish is very good. I grew up eating catfish. Uh, I like it, but I won't eat it no other way than fried. So, um, what we're gonna do? This is a nice fillet that we have here. Don't come at me from my uh, cutting board. I'm gonna cut them up in portions like this for now. Cut them up in portions just like this for now. Strips. So you can either do the strips, you can do nuggets. Either way, it's gonna turn out good. All right, as I cut them, I'm just gonna toss them up there right in my batter. My batter is just simply flour, pepper, black pepper, and uh, Old Bay. Nothing too fancy. Let me know if you guys like eating catfish. If so, what's your favorite cat to eat? Is it channel cat? Is it blue cat? Flathead? I'm interested, I wanna know. We got enough nuggets in there for now. So I'll just, I'll we'll take this, mix it up in there real good. Make sure you get that batter all over it, coat it really well. And go over to the deep fryer. All right, so um, I normally keep my deep fryer set to uh, 375. Um, I use peanut oil as well. So that peanut oil really helps with it not burning. But we're gonna put the nuggets in and we're gonna cook them until they're a nice golden brown. So go ahead and get these in there. Don't be scared, just drop them right on in there like mama used to do it. Now while that's frying up, I'll put you guys on to a little sauce that I like to make for my uh, catfish nuggets, and it's simple. So we're gonna take some mayo. We need much, just a little bit. I'm gonna need more than that. Some old bay. And some chili garlic sauce. And give that a good 
mixing. A little bit more old bay. I love my old bay. All right, they're floating. So they said they float, they're done. Make sure you got a good golden brown color to them. Oh man, things look delicious. Drain them off real good. Grease off of them real good. Dump them on your plate. There you go, man. That fast. You guys watch this thing come from the Chop Tank River, get cut up, filleted up, bring her home, cut her down into some finger sized nuggets or bites, whatever you want to call them. Made my sauce up. And just like that, some fill to the stove. It was that easy. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys. Till next time. No dream is too big. No blessings too small. Let's put God first. Keep grinding. We out.